Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing something a little bit different than I normally do. It is still a Stardew Valley based video but today I am going to be showing you guys how to install the mods for Stardew Valley. This is very simple and a lot of you guys are asking if I could make a video to show you because you guys want to experience these mods yourself but you may be a little bit baffled to how to do it and it can be a little bit daunting and confusing for people who have not really experienced installing mods before but it is really easy guys I'm going to show you a few steps how to get them installed so you can enjoy these amazing mods. Now the first thing you want to do before even looking at mods and installing them is backing up your saved data just in case you lose them. Now there's two things you can do to back up your save files. The first thing you want to do is search your computer and type in percent app data percent this brings up a file folder and once you open that just find your game Stardew Valley go into saves and your save will be there all you want to do is copy this folder put it into a new folder I've just called a folder Stardew Valley and if you go into saves and then just paste this folder into here replace the file and that is now backed up the save file in case anything goes wrong that is one way of doing it and the second thing to do is open up steam if you have bought the game from steam obviously find your games stardew valley right click on the game go on to backup game files stardew valley press next choose the folder where you want it to be backed up name it whatever you want to name it so I'll just call it stardew valley backup save and then you just press next wait a couple of moments for that to happen and that's backed up from steam as well right guys once that's finished you have now backed up your save file so you no longer need to be scared in case your save file gets deleted so now I'm going to show you the website I use for my mods and the way that I install mods there's different ways of doing it but I'm going to show you guys the way I do it so open your browser I'll put a link in the description of the website I use, but if you just type in on the internet um, Nexus Mods Stardew Valley, this is the website that I use. I will put the link in the description for you guys. And now it's just a case of searching some of the mods that you want to use. So what I do is I go onto Files, I go onto Categories, and then you've got all the list of categories here that you want to, to find yourself. So if we go onto Livestock, which is obviously Animals, if you take a little look and see any that you like for example there's this turkey one here let's have a turkey on a farm just click on to the one that you like go into the files and then just click on the main file and that will start downloading now once that's downloaded the way I do this is I drag this onto my desktop so it's a nice working area you can see it you don't get confused where it is just minimize the browser and you need to extract this to your desktop now once this is extracted you'll have the folder I normally delete that file um, the old one because you don't need that open up this file here and as you can see it, you've got two XMB files one is the brown chicken and the white chicken because there's two different turkeys on this which you can take a look at the picture that's what the turkeys look like so we are going to do the white chicken because currently my white chickens are grey so I want a turkey instead so what you want to do is go into your windows Go into program files 86, find Steam, go on to Steam apps, go on to common, find your game Stardew Valley, click on content. Now this is all of the XMBs currently in the game. So what you need to do is simply replace these new XMB files with the old ones. So you've just got to find the category where it will be, so obviously this is animals, so we need to go into animals. And what I always do is try and keep a backup of these, just in case you want to change it back to the old one. So as you can see, we've got the brown and the white chicken, we're going to do the white one. So you just want to find the white chicken, which is down here. I always copy this file, put it into a folder, which I've got here, Stardew Valley Mods. And then I've got a folder saying new and old. So the old mods, I'll just copy and paste it into there. And that's nice and safe. It's backed up in case I want to replace it. I've already done it with this chicken, so I'll leave that now. Simply copy this XMB file, whichever colour chicken you want. Paste it into the animal content folder. 
replaced the file in this destination and that has swapped the turkey with the old white chicken. Now it's as simple as that. As long as you back up the old ones, you will always have them in case you want to revert back. So now if we go onto the website and we'll try and find another one just so we can see them working. And then we'll go into the game and I'll show you the actual animals what have correctly worked. Now let's change the colour of our pigs. Currently they are pink and there's, as you can see there's loads of different colour pigs on this which is amazing. I think we should go for the black pig. Just find the file that you find the mod that you want. So this is better pigs and recolors. So I'm going to change the colour of my pigs. Go into files. Find the pig that you want. So we want the better pig version 2.1 all colours. You'll download this. I've already downloaded this one before. So I'll find it in my folder. Once you've downloaded that mod, you will have all of the colours which need to be extracted. So whatever colour that you want. So we are going to choose this one here. I kind of like this one. The black and white with the spots. And this one is called just pig black spot. So we'll find the one it is. So it's this one here, black spot. And we'll extract that to the desktop again. Close that down. And then you'll have the folder again. So then you want to do the exact same thing open that folder up and you'll have two XMBs, obviously the baby pig and the original pig. Go back into the original Stardew Valley content, go into the animals folder of course because it's an animal. This works both ways, if it's a building then you just have to find buildings and you just replace the old one with the new one. But obviously make sure you back up the old file in case you want to go back, I have already done this. So then you just drag the baby pig, you want to copy this into the original folder paste it will replace the file the XMB file do the same with the other file replace and there you go you have copied the new pigs with the old pigs so let's take a look at the game and see if these mods have worked so we have got the turkeys which have replaced the white chickens and we have got the new colored pigs so we are going to open the game up now and we'll see if it works Right guys, we have loaded up the game. Let's go and take a look at our new animals and let's just see if the mods have actually worked correctly. As you can see, the animals are already starting to come out because I had the doors open from my farm tour video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. And as you can see, we have turkeys. There they are. The turkeys that we have got have replaced the grey chickens that I had, which is the original white chicken. And they look amazing. I'm actually going to keep them. So now we have got turkeys on the farm as well, which is incredible. And if we go over here, look at the piggy wiggy wiggies. They are now white with black spots with little pink feet. I think they look kind of cool. I'm going to keep those as well. It gives it a nice new look. So there you go, guys. The mods work. It's as simple as that. You just copy the new XMB file into the original old file. And it will replace the file, but just as long as you back up your save, so you don't lose anything. It's as simple as that. You can take a look on the website. There's all sorts of mods. It's amazing. This is the... I have only demonstrated the animals, but you can do this, as you can see, all of my buildings, the silos, the, the barns, the sheds. I have found... And all the grass. I found these on that website that I've used. And I just copied the new files and replaced it with the old. And it's as easy as this guys, get involved, get these mods because it makes the game look amazing. I only use visual mods on this game, I don't use all the, the cheating ones that can, you know, help you out in the game. I still like to do the game from scratch but it's nice to have visual mods to, to make it look better on the eye. So hopefully this video helps you out, if it did don't forget to hit that like button. I did this video because I seen it in a few comments, a few of you guys wanted to see this video because you don't know how to install mods. Hopefully I've made it quite clear and easy for you guys to have a go yourselves. Just give it a go, it's as simple as this. If you guys are struggling and this video has not really helped you then drop it in the comments and I'll try and help you through the comments as much as I can. Hopefully I got all the information that you need. So I'm going to leave that video here guys, it's a nice little short video. Hope you've enjoyed it. But until then, I will see you on another Stardew Valley adventure. Goodbye.